important to ask of you. Ebenezer. There's a place called home I can almost see With a red front door and a roaring fire And a Christmas tree And the door opens wide and you're waiting there We must wait a while. I'm going to work and save and never get into debt. Never. I need so little to make me happy. Ah! Oh, there you are, Miss Glinda. I know I'm just a munchkin, but munchkins have feelings too. And well, I've been trying to tell you mine for you, but sometimes it feels like you don't even know who I am. That's not true, Nick. Uh, Bach. Nick! <gasps> Do you know who that is? Me. Oh, that's Fierro Tickelar, whose reputation is so scandalous. <laughs> Were you looking for something? Or someone? Um, yeah, history class, I don't know. Oh, a history building's that way, my friend. Oh, that class just ended. Oh, perfect timing. So, what does one do for fun around here, huh? Nothing really. Until now. Oh, we've been studying. Oh, I see that once again, the responsibility to corrupt my fellow students falls into me. Oh, hey, Ern. What, Frank? Well, why doesn't Dad want you wearing silk stockings and having dates? I don't know why. <sighs> but Dad has a reason, right? I mean, he wouldn't do that without a reason. No, he wouldn't. But what could the reason be? Hey, do you remember that one time, uh, it was right after Dan bought the $5 dog. <laughs> about two weeks after Anne first showed Dad the silk stockings. Well, I remember the battle over those stockings. <laughs> yeah, well, a little while after that, uh, Dad and Dr. Burton had that long conference upstairs, and when they came down, Dad was joking. Yes, and we didn't think a thing about it. Yeah. I mean, we didn't even have a suspicion. Yeah, that, that's his home. They were so cheerful. Gosh, Frank, when a man with a dozen children gets told his heart's on the blink, gonna do. Hold down. Echo. Get it, get it. my jacket. Ah. See. So what? What do you say? Ay, 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 I'm a beautiful American girl. Bellissima. Ragazza. Americana. <laughs> no, hey, hey, too close, too close. Hey, Marking, hey. Ah, watch. Mm hmm. Damn it, hey. What? Mm hmm. No, 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 no. Hey, Adia, come talk to me while I change, yeah? You feel pretty good, huh? Oh, like I'd gotten an A on my report card. Which I never did. <laughs> Eddie, um, I don't know how to thank you. Well, uh, well, there must be a way. Say, what are you doing after the show Saturday night? Saturday night? Uh, well, if to sit around and schmooze, fine. But if it's like a date, who's got the time? For that? Everybody. Not me. Too busy. You know something? You're lucky. Dames are a dime a dozen, but a good friend is hard to find. Well, look, uh, I'm not searching for a friendship. Well, I can't help it. That's what you found. Listen, every once in a while, I meet a guy that looks just like you. Fatter, thinner, taller, and, well, shorter. <laughs> but just like you, and, well, the guy always turns out to be a friend. Well, uh... That's the most heartening bit of news I have had in ages. <laughs> Come on, kid. I'll take you home and we can sit around and schmooze. <laughs> Look 
can be sure, sit yourself down and meet the best innkeeper in town. As for the rest, all of them crooks, rocking the guest and cooking the books. Sell them, do you see? 